What's up guys, my name is Fulan Mujad and in this video we will create this beautiful 3D screen in DaVinci Resolve. So first I have this clip. Now drag your clip in timeline. I'm going to delete this audios and now let's go to the fusion page. Now in fusion page, first of all, we have to disconnect media in. So press shift or we can click here and it will disconnect this. Now we have to drag this image plan 3D. We have to drag render 3D and we have to drag merge 3D. And finally we have to drag camera 3D. Now connect this one to image plan, this to merge 3D and this to render 3D and finally this to media in. So this is final output of this video. Now I'm going to select my camera and I'm going to connect this to merge 3D. Now as you can see everything is disappeared. So if you select merge node and press 1 on the keyboard as you can see we have this camera and now if we select the camera and drag this right here as you can see now guys we can animate the camera now i'm going to press alt key and now i'm going to rotate my 3d spacing and now i'm going to place this camera right here i'm going to select this image plan 3d go to the transform and now as you can see guys we can rotate this screen recording so i'm going to rotate this about here we can also animate its translation now i'm going to scale it up and i'm going to place this right here so there is two way we can animate we can either animate its position or we can animate the depth of field so i'm going to select my camera and now go to the control visibility and i'm going to check focal plane so the camera will focus where we have this plane so i'm going to drag this plane about here and now i'm going to select my render 3d and now let's change this to opengl render now go to the accumulation effects enable it now after some few seconds here we have depth of field but to add natural depth of field we have to change the amount of depth of field to 0.02 and we have to change the quality to about 5% and now check this out we can now select the camera and now as you can see guys we can animate depth of field so if I zoom in as you can see the camera is now focusing on this part and everything is blurred now if I change my focal plane position and now the camera will focus on this part so we can animate the focal length and we can also animate the position so I'm going to do both so I'm, first of all I'm going to select my camera and now I'm going to go to the first frame and let's place my depth of field about here and I'm going to add a keyframe and now let's go to the 150 frame and now I'm going to change my focal length so if your focal length is rendering slow then we can select the render 3d we can uncheck enable accumulation effect and then we can animate the focal length so it will be easy for us because the depth of field is required most of the computing power now we are done now i'm going to also select this image plan 3d let's rotate this so i'm going to add a keyframe in y-axis of rotation and now we can rotate this to about here now we can check spline we can check all these keyframe scroll down and now we can select all these keyframe and we can select this smooth it will smooth out their animation now we can also select the render 3d we can go to the settings and we can enable motion blur now in final check accumulation effect and go to the edit page now we are here in edit page now as you can see guys we have this black screen in the background so to fix this we have to go to the generators we have to select solid color place the solid color below this track and now we can change the color of this solid so i'm going to select this color so it will blend with the screen now you can also animate other camera angles and focal length to create these types of screen recording as well so i hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one